Oh, so um, yeah, believability. Um, probably the most important, one of the most important things you can have online now, possibly the most important thing is believability. Um, believability and credibility go hand in hand. And this is what I think most people who are posting on Facebook or even people running ads, it doesn't really matter where you are, what you're trying to sell. Most people are missing this aspect. Most people are missing believability because audiences are more skeptical than ever these days. Audiences are like, yeah, I'd like to believe your claims that you can make me 10 grand by tomorrow, but I've been here before. I've been burned before. Why should I believe you? I'd like to believe your claims that you can make me lose 40 pounds in the next 20 days, but I've done every day of going and they didn't work. So why should I believe you? So let's say you're doing what I do, which is posting content on your Facebook personal feed. If I go to your page or if you go to your own page right now and scroll through, is there any reason for a really skeptical person like me, who's never heard of you before, has no reason to trust you, to scroll through your page and be like, do you know what? This makes sense. She's claiming that I can get ripped abs in the next month, just like everyone else. But actually, this time it makes sense. This time I can believe it. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can actually make your claims believable. Um, the first way is through what's called the unique believable mechanism. So if you think of like, say, we'll go back to the fitness example. If you think of, say, uh, a fitness product that says lose 20 pounds in the next month, lose 20 pounds in the next 30 days. Now, as a claim, that's pretty good in a sense of you're giving a specific result that's time bound. So from a copywriting perspective, pretty good. Lose 20 pounds in 30 days as opposed to lose weight with my program. So if you saw that 60 years ago, that would have been a great offer because no one else was doing this stuff. But then loads of people came in the market. Loads of people sold weight loss products and you know, videos that you put in in the 80s and you jump around in front of your TV. And people are still selling that now. You know, people are still selling like Zumba and P90X and Insanity and Super Duper Insanity. You know, like we will either kill you in the next hour or you'll get in shape. But either way, the problem's gone. Well, then you've got your diet stuff, which is like lose 20 pounds next 30 days through eating protein only or through eating like the cavemen did or through eating lettuce or whatever bullshit it is. And people are so jaded because they've been through so many of these things. Uh, what, what happens? They lose six or seven pounds in the first week, two pounds in the second week, one pound in the third, and then they plateau off and then they give up time and time again. So when you come along with your program, it's like, Hey, lose 20 pounds in the next 30 days. They're like, I've seen this shit before and I'm not impressed. It's another scam. That's why you see so often on Facebook ads, the sponsored posts, you see like they go, it's a scam, it's a scam, it's a scam. Because there's nothing in there that shows why it's believable. So the first way you can make yourself believable is a unique believable mechanism. So let's imagine you've got a product that helps people lose 30 pounds or 20 pounds in the next 30 days and it's a pill. And you could just say it's a pill, but no one's going to buy it. Or you can say, uh, explorers recently went into the Amazon jungle and they found this tribe that all had like super ripped abs, despite the fact they're in the middle of nowhere. There's not like an LA fitness nearby. Uh, they're in the middle of a jungle. They've never seen any other humans apart from their tribe. Yet they've all got ripped abs. And the explorers are like, what's going on here? And on further investigation, they discovered the... Uh, the local tribe were all eating this like funny, brightly colored berry. And we're like, we've never seen this before. So we took this berry back to the lab to test. And it turns out that if you eat 100 of these berries in one sitting, well, that's the equivalent to doing like an hour on the treadmill. So the helpful folks here at No Scam Supplements have created a pill that you pop one of these pills. That's the equivalent of eating 100 berries. So it's like the equivalent to doing an hour on a treadmill. So you do one in the morning and one in the evening. That's two hours on a treadmill. Within a month, you're going to burn loads of weight and you'll be close to abs. So that is what's called a believable mechanism. If you can show loads of scientific data behind it about how you've done the test, how no one has seen this stuff before, you might be like, hey, Sherry, how's it going? Um, you might be like, do you know what? I'm not sure if I believe this, but it sounds pretty good. All right, I'll, you'd probably order a box of them just to see, wouldn't you? Because of a unique believable mechanism. So that is how you actually deliver the result. Uh, how is it that your method, what have, you what have you developed in your method that's different to everybody else? So for example, for me, I sell a coaching program called the Ecosystem. And this program promises that if you're a coach or a consultant 
and you want to sell more of your thing, you want to sell more of your high ticket thing, and you want to do it organically on Facebook, come to me. But I'm not the only one selling that. How do I differentiate myself? Well, I say, look, yes, there's stuff in my program that you want to see elsewhere, but the real key to the kingdom is that I sit and work with you one on one. Although it's a group program, I sit and I go, I learn your business, and I go, okay, this is how to apply it for your business. This is how it works for you. This is how to make sales work for you. This is how to make posts work for your business. Instead of like every other program where you watch generic videos and then you've got to work it out yourself. That's my unique believable mechanism because I sit down and I tell you how to do it, so you cannot screw it up. So think about in your coaching business. Let's say you're a dating coach. How do you help people get results? How do you help a man meet his ideal woman? How do you help a woman meet her ideal man? How do you help couples rekindle their love that they had when they were first married instead of fighting with each other? How do you go about doing that in a believable way that you haven't seen before? And if you go in like, I have no idea, well, that's where I come in. That's exactly what I tell you to do. Literally, the very first thing in my program is I sit down with you and I go, okay, that's what your thing is. That's how you stand out from everyone else who does what you do. That's number one. Number two is um, your own credibility story. So how do you have the right to tell, uh, how do you have the right to teach what you teach? So loads of people come online, they're like, I'm a life coach, I'm a dating coach, I'm a business coach. But I'm like, why do you have any right to coach me on my thing? How did you get to the position where you now have enough knowledge to coach me? So telling your story about how you got to where you are now and how you're in the position where you learn this stuff. So it might have been along the lines of uh, you, let's say you're uh, a life coach and you help people feel more calm and you relieve stress from. So let's say you relieve stress. Well, you could say, oh, I help people relieve stress. Or you could say, well, uh, I'm 55 years old and I've spent the last 30 years traveling the globe and I've been to all the corners of the earth. I've been and met mystics in, um, in India and shamans in Japan and Buddhist monks and I met the Dalai Lama, I met these witch doctors and I got loads of stuff from each one of them and a lot of it was rubbish but there was these gold nuggets with each one and I put all these nuggets together and I came up with a system that, well first of all, I completely healed my stress. I feel completely calm every single day and my stress just melted away. And then I, I noticed I had a bunch of my friends who were like, you know, Type A executives, like high-flying corporate people, but they were always on it all the day, like powering the day through coffee, uh, like endless coffees all day long, and they're just like all day long on it, and then they get to night and they're struggling to sleep, and then the next day starts again. And the stress would build up, and a lot of them would have like some kind of breakdown, or they'd have six weeks, six months off of work uh, because they just couldn't handle it anymore. So I helped a few of these friends to actually relieve their stress using the same method. And then I realized I've got a five-step process now for doing this based on all this experience I've gathered from all over the world that you won't find anywhere else because your average 22-year-old who's been to a Tony Robbins seminar and walked on coals and has now got all inspired, he doesn't know this stuff because all he's doing is just parroting what he's learned from Tony Robbins, whereas I'm taking my own experiences from all over the world that no one else can replicate, and I've put it into one really efficient program. Uh, We've got the results here from all these different types of people. It works for pretty much anybody, and it'll work for you too. Now you've got your own believable story that you've created. By the way, that's kind of like a believable mechanism as well, so it kind of ties into the same thing. Um, and Part of number two is also um, just showing your own results. So if you're a business coach, people don't like to brag about money. Yes, but if you're a business coach, it's handy to show a screenshot or talk about how much money you earn. So... Um, one of the best videos I did in terms of getting leads was a video I did where I talked about how I made 22 grand in one week uh, from just a couple of posts. Loads of people watched that video because I put loads of content into it, but also they wanted to get the result. And they're watching this going, well, if he's getting the result, then he must know what he's talking about. He's not one of these business coaches making no money, lecturing me on how to make more money when I probably make more than he does. He's like, I'd like to make 22K in a week, so I'm gonna to listen to him. And I've got loads of leads in my inbox, got people signing up. So how can you show that you have what other people want? And number three is how can you show that uh, when you think of your ideal prospect, how can you show that you've got results for people who are just like your ideal prospect? So person A, let's say your ideal target is a 40-year-old man who has a beer belly and you want him to lose weight. 
Well, it's no good showing testimonials from 25-year-old women or 60-year-old men. You want loads of video testimonials and before and after pictures from 40-year-old men who are in similar scenarios to him. Maybe he's a busy professional who's working loads of hours and doesn't have time to get to the gym and cook healthy meals. Well, your testimonials ideally and your uh, preferably video testimonials that you can use as case studies will be people just like him where they're working hard and they don't have loads of time and he's like I'm working hard and I don't have loads of time but if they made it work for them maybe I can work and make it work for me and those three ways I'll just do a quick recap of how you make yourself believable number one just to recap the unique believable mechanism so how is it that what you do how you get your result how is that different to how everyone else gets their results number two your own credibility story and your own results how are you a shining example of what you teach and number three is how are you getting results for other people who are just like your ideal prospect so if you want to know how to do that send me a message if you're sat there going yeah, this makes sense, but how do I apply it to my own business? Which is where everyone falls down, because we've all consumed loads of content. There's no shortage of content telling you this is what you need to do, and that's what you need to do. But then when you apply it to your own business, you're like, am I doing this right? Um, how do I do this? Or maybe you're like, oh, I don't have any testimonials, so I can't do this. I don't have any results. I don't have anything unique. I guarantee you, you do. Uh, one client of mine, Michael, he came to me and said, I don't really have any results uh, in dating. I'm brand new here. Uh, yet, when I spoke to him, I was like, well, you've helped this person out, this person out, and this person out. He'd helped out a bunch of friends. He'd helped out himself. He'd helped out other people. Not necessarily in a paid coaching context, but he's still got the results for people who are just like his ideal client. So why not use those case studies? Why not tell the story of that? Even if he can't get a testimonial out of them, he can still tell the story of it and not mention them by name and not mention any actual details where they'd be like, how dare you talk about me? Uh, he can still kind of keep it high level, but still show that he's got a result for other people. And when we actually came out of it, we realized he'd got like four or five great examples of guys that he'd help like meet their ideal woman. And like one guy's about to get married, another guy's are getting engaged. I'm like, how have you missed this? He's like, oh yeah, I just didn't think that was a big deal. Which is kind of like where we're at a lot of us. We kind of think, oh, well, what I'm doing is not a big deal. Everyone knows how to do this. And sometimes you need someone extra, uh, someone from the outside to come in and go, no, that's awesome. You need to showcase this. And you're like, really? I just thought it was nothing. Uh, when you actually do it, other people see it and go, that's awesome. Suddenly you get leads in your inbox and you're signing up people and you're making like you know, 20, 30K a month overnight in some cases because now you're showing the world I get results as opposed to being another person blowing off on Facebook about how great they are and how they get results and how they're fantastic without demonstrating any proof whatsoever. Um, hey, Ron, thanks for, thanks for joining. Yes, truth, I agree. obviously I agree. Of course I'm gonna say, of course, of course I'm gonna agree with you, but yes. So how can you show that you're credible? So if you just joined, Bridget, I know you just joined because Sherry tagged you, probably worth going and watching this back from the start because we're pretty much done now. But if you want to come back and ask any questions at the end, I'll keep an eye on the comments or you can send me a message. Um, because what you'll find is if this video makes sense to you and you're like, all oh, right, that's it, you're probably still going to be in a position where you're like, how do I apply this to my own coaching business? How do I make this work for me? Because it's not easy to make the link between A and B and make, okay, I'm talking in the general here because there's loads of coaches out there. How do you turn that general into the specific? The how-to of how you apply it is kind of what you live and die by. Uh, you get this right, you make lots of money. You get this wrong, well, you're like most coaches and you're sort of struggling and you're not making any money at all. So if you look at this and you go, okay, how will I make this apply to me? Send me a message and we'll talk it through. Yes, I've got a program for sale and you may end up being at the end of it like, okay, I want to sign off this program. And you can be like, you know, Michael who made 10K in a month, Dahlia who made like 25K in the last few weeks. Um, God, who else have we got? We've got quite a few people. Samantha, she's made three sales in the last week alone. Um, so what we're finding is that people, once they start to get the hang of it, and it takes a few weeks of how to write the right kind of post, who their audience is, who they've got to reach, who their target market is, they're making sales consistently because they stand out from everyone else and they're believable. And then they get results for the people who've signed up. They feed it back into their content, which makes them even more believable, and it creates this positive cycle of it, which goes up and up where they become more and more believable with all the more testimonials. So if you have a look at my news feed, have a look at what I do for believability. The last post I made yesterday is all about Samantha, how she made uh, three sales in the last week using my simple sales system, and she doesn't feel icky or weird doing it, and it's really super easy to do. So that's credibility. You scroll down a bit more, you'll see a post about how I helped someone else, how I got this result, how I'm able to do this because I work for myself. And 
if you can, if you scroll down my feed, you could spend two, three, four hours scrolling and get loads of valuable content that you hopefully haven't seen elsewhere. And you can see credible stories of how we've helped. And hopefully you can see it's entertaining as well. So it's kind of like, it's not just boring facts, but it's like watching Netflix. It's like entertainment. So you're not like going, oh, I can't wait to stop reading this boring guy's content. You want to carry on reading. So all of that helps bring someone closer to a sale. It makes people want to follow me if they've just clicked on my profile, then they see something they like, they go for a few posts, and then they start watching all of my videos and all my posts, which then leads them to do things like Sherry did in this video, Sherry tagged Bridget. Now hopefully Bridget's going to like my content and then follow me some more. And then Bridget might tag some more people or potentially become a customer. This is how it works when you do it right. When you do it wrong, you're just throwing endless content at a wall and hoping it sticks. Like my client, well, I've got a current client, I won't name him, but he was um, he was making, trying to run a YouTube channel, and he put one YouTube video a week up for the last, infotainment, that's it, Sherry, yeah, absolutely. One YouTube video a week up, at least, for the last year. And, um, and after a year, he had, he had a massive total of 27 subscribers. So I said to him, like, it's fantastic what you're doing in terms of stickability. You are sticking with it when anyone else would have given up. But what's not so fantastic is you're clearly not getting results. If you were only getting like 20 people a week subscribing, but now you're at 1,000, we've got something to work with there. But what this says is that no one's reading your stuff. No one's looking at your content because either they're not seeing it or they just it's just not hitting the mark. They find it boring or you're not talking to the right audience. No, in the last month, we've got him talking to the right audience. Now he's got clients coming in. I think he signed up a client recently. He's got another client meeting, I think, today. He's starting to get leads in his inbox because people are like, this makes sense. I like what this guy's got to offer. Now we're working on the sales side of a skill. So he's sending me messages every single day saying, hey, this guy just screenshot messages. This guy just sent me a message. Oh, where do I take this next? I go, okay, he sent you this message because he's mentally in this place. This is what you need to say in response to move things along. Uh, guess what? He's getting science, sales, he's getting people signing up, he's getting leads coming in. Instead of being like when he got leads before, he'd be too keen to sign them up and he'd end up screwing it up and they'd be slipping through his fingers. There's not too many things you need to get right in order to have a successful online business. Like you get the lead getting side of it right by getting your content right, then you get the sales side of it right by having your one-on-one -on -one conversations correct. You get those two things right, you're making a lot of money and you don't need to have a day job. That's really it. Well, people overcomplicate stuff and they make like these massive complicated funnels and retargeting this and that and all the rest of it. It doesn't need to be that difficult. It really doesn't. Okay, Stephanie says, what do you think is the fastest way to fill a private group? I have many video testimonials. What's the best way to showcase these? To fill a private group. Do you mean, when you say a private group, do you mean a paid group or do you mean my, my magic source group where it's a group on Facebook but a free group? Um, if you mean, I'm assuming you mean like a free group. So the fastest way to build a group was actually for the first, what, from June until March of this year, from June last year till March this year, I sent people messages on Facebook. Kind of annoying, really. I sent between 40 and 50 messages a day to people on Facebook saying, hey, do you want to join my group? But I made it a bit more interesting, a bit more charming than that. I was like, hey, you know, um, I think you'll like this group, but I have been wrong on these things before. Instead of being like, all cats, this is the most awesome thing you've ever seen in your life. And you're like, get lost. So no, the old person was offended. It felt it was like, how dare you spam me? But it grew my group pretty fast. But I haven't done that recently. Um, so I've been stuck at 4,000 members for a while, to be honest, because I've been focusing more on my personal feed. Um, when you say you've got many video testimonials, well, first of all, have a page on your website. If you've got a call booking page, um, I recommend on the page where they've booked a call, and it says, hey, thanks for booking a call. Fill that page with video testimonials and text ones because then people can look at that and see your credibility and be like, wow, she's got all these results of people. So when they jump on a phone with you, they're like, oh, but you've already got that extra credibility. They know you've got results for people. Instead of being like, who's Stephanie? Um, let's see, free group. Yeah, okay, good. Um, so yeah, um, you honestly, still the quickest way is go and find people in your target market, which you can do in other groups. Um, and just send them a quite charming message on, please, do you want to come and join my group? By the way, I've got a product. I don't really advertise it anymore. It's $299. It's all about growing your Facebook group and monetizing it. If you want to focus on that, you can, you can go and buy that product. Um, I don't think the link's available on my website anymore. So if you want it, if you want to see the sales page, just send me a message and I'll send you a link to it. I can't remember what it is. I think it's... Um, 
uh, what was it called? I think if you go magicsourcemarketing.com forward slash FB groups, you'll see it. But if you if that's not right, just send me a message. Uh, in terms of showcasing your video testimonials, Stephanie, so I like case studies. So go on my private, my private, my personal profile and look at the post I did yesterday where I tagged Samantha. Uh, and I talk about, instead of being like, I'm so great, here's this testimonial, I try and make the post like a case study. So it's like, here's what you can learn from this. So do you know what? I'll bring the post up now and I'll just, uh, let's have a look. One second. So what I said, Samantha explains how the very first Zoom call we had where I explained my simple sales system was worth the money for the entire ecosystem program. She was right too. She's made three sales in the last week. So what I've done there is a bit of credibility. I said, she's made three sales in the last week. So I'm not just blowing off hot air. Um, I basically, I take the bit from a testimonial because it's like a, what, three minute video. I take the best bit from a bit testimonial, which is the result. She's made three sales in the last week as a result of what I taught her. She also talks about how she feels great about making sales now and knows prospects are going to sign up as soon as she gets on a call. Because I know people reading this are going to be like, they get on a call and they're like, this person's not going to sign up. You know, it's not going to work. What's the point? So I'm showcasing, showcasing how that's different to what my prospects are experiencing. And my prospects are like, I'd like to feel like that. And I say totally different from a standard icky pain point prodding most other coaches recommend. So I know my ideal market has done most of the big programs where they say, you've got to prod the pain. You've got to make people feel like shit. Well, I don't make people feel like that. And I've got other videos on what I do instead. I won't go into that now. Um, so people watching this who are like, I feel really bad making people feel like crap and be like, so how's it going to feel if you carry on like this? How bad is your life going to get? Maybe your wife's going to leave you. And they're like, I don't like doing this. They can see there's another way. So they get to read the case study and be like, ah, oh, maybe there's another way here. And they get some useful lesson from it. But there's also the credibility there, the actual post, the actual results. But I don't go, I don't, I don't tend to say, hey, Richard here has done it again. I'm so great. I got another result. My client Samantha here got three sales in the last week as a result of my brilliant system. Sign up now. Some people do that. And yes, it will get leads and sales. But I personally, as I like to be a bit understated. Maybe it's my English nature. I don't know. I feel a bit obnoxious doing that. So I don't. So think about how you can use those as content how you can use your video testimonials, take the best bits out of them, like the bit where they talk about the result, how they tried everything before you, but now going with you actually worked. Uh, and what's the lesson that your audience can take from that? Now, that makes good content. It doesn't necessarily make loads of engaging content, so you have to make posts that create engagement as well, but it's really good for creating leads. Ron says, do you post a lot in other people's Facebook groups or do most of your posts on your own profile and pages? No, I don't post any other Facebook groups anymore. Now and again, if a post, I'm in lots of groups, if a post appears on my newsfeed, I might comment on it, but not as part of a strategy just because you know it appeared and I was like, I'll leave a comment. Um, I used to in the past, but generally, um, especially as a business coach, I actually feel like commenting or writing posts in other people's Facebook groups can be harmful because it's a bit like, you know, do you see Frank Kern doing that? Do you see anyone with a big established business who's doing really well posting all the time in other people's Facebook groups being like, please, can I get your audience? Cause I don't have one of my own. So I'd rather post in my own group. I'd rather, by the way, if you're not part of my group, Ron, um, it's the magic source for online marketing. So, you know, have a search for it, come and join 4,000 people in there. It's pretty cool. Basically, if you like my content on here, there's more of it in that group. Uh, and I talk in more in depth on sort of certain concepts there. So feel free to join if you're not in there already. But yeah, I don't tend to post in other people's groups. It's just on my own page. I add people who I think will be ideal clients and I post content knowing that they're going to see it and then react. Um, because another thing is that when people start interacting with my feed, they see more of my stuff. So then they get to become fans over time and then they see my posts every day on their news feed, which doesn't happen if I'm posting in groups all over the place. Um, so I get to create fans and I get to create people who follow my content over a long period of time, which I don't think really happens if you're posting in other people's groups all the time. You're always just an outsider making content. Um, what I want, I'm playing the long game here, Ron. I'm not like going, okay, um, sign off my offer today and hoping a bunch of people come in and then go, okay, how am I going to make sales tomorrow? I'm making content over a long period of time where, yes, some people will sign up on day one, but a lot of people will be like, who is this guy? I don't know who he is. But then over a course of weeks, as they follow my content, I might make you laugh to, uh, I might make you laugh today, then tomorrow make you really think about something in a way you've not done before. Then the day after, show you uh, a result someone got who's just like you, a result that you want. Then the day after, make you laugh again. And then so over like a course of a few weeks, you're like, I like this guy. He's posting good stuff that I haven't seen before, and he's entertaining. 
and he's getting results for people. And then you'll start thinking, hmm, maybe I should think about signing up with him. Maybe I'll maybe do. Should I send him a message? Well, I don't want to send him a message because you know, what if um, what if he tries to sell me and he gets awkward, or what if it's and that, or what if he's too good at sales and then I buy something I don't want? Da, 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 da. But over time, you're gonna be like. Mm. I think I should send him a message now. And that's what I'm trying to do. Over time, my brand builds and builds and builds and builds because of all these people signing up, getting results, posting a credibility back in, delivering value. Over time, you're going to fall off a fence if you want the result I'm offering and you haven't had it yet. Uh, what other questions have we got here? Sherry says, he's got some great videos on how he, does, how, how he did this. Um, about, she means talking about growing a Facebook group. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a few videos in my group as well where I talk about this. I think I've got a... A 50 odd minute one so if you want to see that one i can dig it out and send you the link if you want to know send me a message if you want to know that uh but yeah thanks for the compliment sherry by the way appreciate that always appreciate the big up um ron says ditto on the long game but you have to get them to your group to begin with so yes and no ron um if you want to grow a facebook group and do all your content from there yes but actually you don't need to these days if you just do what i've done here i mean you're not watching this in my group are you you're watching this on my personal Facebook feed. Well, what if you just did what I did, which is add people who are your ideal clients, which is a topic for another day on how to find them. Add people who are your ideal clients. Then make content like this that speaks to them. You don't need a group anymore because it's a lot easier to get people to accept your friend request than it is to get them to a group. So while growing a group is great, and you know I value my group, it's useful, I don't need it. I would say I make more sales from my actual personal page than I do for my group these days. So if that's of interest to you on how to grow your audience in your personal page, you can do that. Uh, like I said, I've got some clients like Michael's probably the best example of it. He grew an audience from nothing on his personal page, and he's a dating coach. He's not teaching business or anything like that. He's a dating coach, and he made 10K in his first month. Given if, and he had nothing. He had like, like, like two or 300 friends to start with. So you can do this fast. I'm not saying that you'll definitely do that. Everyone's results are different depending on where you're starting from and you know, how much you throw yourself into it and how much time you've got to work on it. But if you actually throw yourself in, you can get results pretty fast on your personal page. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, I don't want to market on my personal page, and I understand that. But it's not about marketing. It's not about being one of these annoying MLM people who's like, sign up to my team today, Kangen Water, you know, Juice Plus. And you're like, oh, this guy just cuts and pastes the same post every day. You're quickly going to get your account banned if you do that because people will report your post. Or at best, people are just going to hide you, and you'll get zero engagement. It's about being entertaining. It's about being informative. It's about showing people, uh, uh, helping people think in a different way, helping people see stuff uh, about whatever you teach you on, helping people see stuff in a different way. You put you putting information out there that's different to what they've seen before, and they go, I have never seen this explained this way before. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense why I've been with all these other coaches and not got the result before. Um, uh, and when you do that, people are going to appreciate it. People who have got the problem that you're talking about, people in your target market, they're going to be like, this guy produces good stuff. I enjoy his content. Watching a half hour video on him is almost as entertaining as watching a Netflix or whatever. So I'm prepared to sit there and watch a half hour video of his because it's actually good. And I actually learned something that's valuable as opposed to just being boring and you're like lecturing someone like the guru on the mountain, like I'm so great and you're so stupid. Let me tell you why I'm so great. Um, so Stephanie says finding my personal page useless also starting from zero did get a bunch of clients initially then it died out Stephanie if you want if you want to hear it I'm willing to look at your personal page right now on this video and tell you what I think of it um, tell me yes or no whether you want to hear it because not every you might not necessarily want to hear like a harsh feedback uh, on the pro on a public video um, so I'll give you a sec I'll give you a second to respond on that. I've got your page up now, but if you don't want to hear it, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm scrolling through just now to look. Yeah, I mean, I can see exactly what I can see exactly what you're missing here, Stephanie. Um, if you don't respond uh, on this thread now before I close down the video, I will send you. Sure, it's definitely so sure. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you what's what the problem is with your thing. You've got an offer. If you've not requested a, an invitation to our unique and highly effective group, Path to Sustainable Happiness, please type invite me in the comments. So you've got some comments there, but I don't see any actual benefit there. Like, what's the benefit? Are uh, unique and highly effective? How is it unique? How is it highly effective? I want to know what specific result I'm getting. I know 
happiness is a tricky one. If happiness is what you're selling, being specific about that is really, really tricky. And that's a subject for another day. We can talk about that offline if you like. Um, but yeah, I see you've got like a, a meme, you know, lots of pictures, basically lots of pictures where it's just you with like a sort of a lesson in the picture. I would call this more like Instagram content. You know, like a picture of you, the only way you can call yourself a failure is if you quit. So this is a kind of content where it's not bad content, but it's the kind of content that everyone agrees with. Like if you quit, you're a failure, but sticking with it, you know, um, having a, a failing at something, but then sticking with it till you win. That's what winners do. It's like, I've heard that stuff a hundred times before. And that's the sort of stuff Gary Vee says. It's sort of Grant Cardone says. It's on my newsfeed all the time. I put that in the same category as the, you know, be positive. Positivity always wins. Be authentic. Be yourself. Um, no need to be fake. It's like tedious. You know, it's like, I'm, and I apologize. I'm not trying to say you're tedious or your content is, but what I'm saying is people have seen it before. So while you might get a few likes on it, you'll get a few comments saying, I agree. You know, like, like I say, you've got eight likes and one comment and the comments from yourself. Um, what happens is if I see this, on my newsfeed, I'll be like, yeah, okay, I might hit my like button if I feel like it, but that's about it. But you're not teaching me anything I've not heard before. I'm not looking at this going, all oh, right, that's why it's not working or that's what I need to do. That's why all those other coaches, I signed up with them and didn't get the result. Uh, that's why it's not working. There's no aha moments. It's kind of like more like inspirational stuff that I click the like on. I'm also not seeing any credibility here. Uh, I'm seeing content, you know, you're talking about, are you in victim mode? What you focus on grows. What are you focusing on today? And it's like a few people are like, oh, I'm going to be working on this and that. Yeah, you got 12 comments. Someone says being happy, growth. Um, and you're talking about, you know, you took join us Sunday, 6 p.m. EST, Path to Sustainable Happiness, which is kind of cool. Some people will join you, but I'm not seeing any credibility about why you have the right to teach me this, Stephanie. Um, I'm not seeing any stories. For, so when we talk about the three ways here, What's your unique, unique believable? I can't say it, unique believable mechanism. How do you? How can you teach me to be happy um, in a way that isn't what other people to, to talk about? Other life coaches just do like vague, generic stuff like focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Um, you know, think about the good things in your life. Squeeze your gratitude rock every morning. And I'm like, yeah, that's all good, but whatever. I've heard it before. How is your system unique? Number two, how have you applied this to yourself and how are you happy? How are you getting those results, results? How can you make I am happy into a tangible thing where I'm like, oh, yeah, but I actually want results like that. Like, um, I don't know, every every day I wake, I, I wake up in the morning and I jump out of bed with a smile on my face because I cannot wait to get to work. I just feel so full of joy and happiness. And I know it sounds cheesy, but that's how I feel when I wake up in the morning as opposed to snoozing the alarm 17 times and being like, oh God, not another day. That's one example of happiness that may be like, this is how it manifests in my life. And now people can look at that and go, I don't feel like that, but I would like to, as opposed to keeping it high level and going, be happy. Everyone's got a different version of what that means. And it's kind of a bit abstract and people just don't really connect with it. Um, you, know, you have to learn how to select your thoughts like you select your clothes every day. Kind of interesting, but too high level. I need more specifics. I need like something I can do, something I can take. Um, so have a look at what everyone else in your market is doing. So you might say everyone else is saying, oh, you need to control your thoughts and think only positive thoughts. Otherwise you'll be unhappy. But how the name in Frig do you actually do that? Because thoughts enter your head when they enter your head. It's not like, you no, know, when you, if you're like, I've, have you ever driven down the motorway in the fast lane thought, what would happen if I just swerved into the central reservation? Now I have never been tempted to do it, but you're like, that's a thought that doesn't need to be in my head, but it appears and then it goes away again. How can I actually control what appears in my head? Everyone else is telling you how to do this, but no one's, everyone's tell, everyone else is telling you you have to do this, but no one else is telling you how. Well, here's what they're missing. Now you've got, if you can actually then explain how to do it, and I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. Now you've got something. Now I'm following you. Now I'm going, okay, I'm going to like click the, see every post of Stephanie's because I'm like, she's explaining stuff that's really insightful that I've never seen before. Uh, uh, I'm not seeing any testimonials from other people, any case studies on your actual personal page here. So it's just kind of like inspirational content. So I'm going to stop beating up on you now, Stephanie. I hope this wasn't like horrible to hear. I'd be like this bastard. How dare you say this? Um, but this is what you've got on your, on your feed is what I'm seeing on probably 90% of people's feeds. Uh, it's not bad content. Your actual graphics, like your actual um, your images are really good, better than what I have. Uh, they look nice. Uh, they kind of, you know, if stand out on the news feed, good stuff. I approve of that. It's just the actual posts themselves. There's just not enough meat to them. There's not enough actual 
this is unique and this is I've never seen it before. Um, so initially had videos and lots of engagement, but I'm scrolling down, you know, I'm still scrolling and it's still just like, you know, pictures and memes and there's you know, a video here. So here's a video. You can learn to change these thoughts to match the life you want to live. Are you ready to change your mirror image? Type yes in the comments below. So you said, are you ready to change your mirror image? But you haven't really said what the mirror image is. Is whatever your life looks like today is a mirror image of your subconscious thoughts. So yeah, you need more meat around like what the mirror image of your subconscious is, why that's important, how that relates to your everyday life, and then how you change that and what the end results are and what the benefits are. Uh, maybe like a case study, like a one-line case study in a post of like, I helped John do this and now he's in this position. So teaching women how to remap their brains, Stephanie, that's not an end result. Um, I teach women how to be happy is an end result, but then you need um, some sort of specificity of, okay, this is how I do it. So it's believable. Um, so I hope, oh God, go down more. How, I mean, but can you see my point? I've been scrolling down for ages here, Stephanie. It's like, yeah, but keep going, but keep going. If someone comes to your profile, they ain't going to keep on scrolling forever if they don't see something good to start with. If they don't see like good stuff on the first like three posts, they're not going to keep on scrolling to find like, okay, I'll go all the way back to like March and see whether there's anything good there. They're just not going to do it. So it's like, yeah, but I've got some, I'm, I'm still scrolling and not seeing, oh, there's a video here. Uh, it's about your youngest turning 17. So, uh, okay, cool, but not relevant to me. Um, you know, we're, we're way back in August now. Um, so two months ago. Yeah, I mean, so so you can see what I mean. I mean, if I, if I scroll down, yeah, I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with saying happy birthday to my 17-year-old boy. I'm so proud of him, whatever. But that cannot be the bulk of your content. So there's no problem there. Like In terms of like the percentage of your content, there's like personal stuff that's like, oh, I'm on holiday or happy birthday to whatever. You've not got too much of that stuff. Most of your content is business related. So that's good. You don't need to worry about that. You don't need to go down and delete stuff because no one's going to scroll down that far anyway. Just worry about making your future content good enough. So if I was in your position, I would um, maybe have a look at my, some of my credibility posts, some of my testimonials, some of my videos, some of the stuff I've talked about. Scroll down my feed and look at where I get credibility. And maybe just like not copy one of those, but use it as a template for some of the videos you've got where this is, I helped this woman get some A to B. What transformation? What did you help them do? So, you know, Alison was going to work every day. She's a high-flying executive. She's doing really well in work from an external perspective. She drove a brand new Audi, lives in a four-bedroom detached house, looks great. Uh, everyone's like, wow, I want Stephanie's life. But on the inside, she was falling apart. She was so stressed. She was juggling all these balls all the time. She's like, I have to be everything. So I have to be different things to all these different people. I never get any time for me. And I'm just on all day long, constantly. And I never get time to switch off. Um, and then when she came to me, she was in this position. We worked through my unique system, X, Y, Z, where we, well, we go through A, B, C, D, and E. And after four weeks, she's now in this position. Uh, she came back to me. Uh, that was, this was six months ago. She came back to me now. Uh, she's like, oh, my God, I can't believe how different my life is, blah, 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 blah. If you're in a similar position to Alison, give me a shower. Um, can you see how you're talking through that story? The person starts in the same position that your ideal prospect is, and you took them through a believable journey that lands in the place they want to end up. You show enough testimonials like that and enough stories like that, you're going to be you're going to be doing pretty well. So you said, you know, the bulk is video testimonials and me live, but not in your recent posts, it's not. So you want to keep it kind of. Uh, my suspicion with you, Stephanie is that you started off doing this stuff and maybe it kind of tailed off or you got your client, you got some clients and then it tailed off a little bit and then you're like, what do I do next? And then you started posting inspirational content and went away from this good stuff. Uh, or maybe um, your content wasn't quite there in the first place, but was good enough to get some people in because uh, there's always some early adopters in any market where like, they'll sign up for anything. So you got some people in your first offer, but you had some people on the fence, but then you never quite came back and got the people off the fence. So you were never able to build up your actual ecosystem. So you had more people coming in, more results, which fuels more people and so on. And then you got like snowball effect bigger and bigger. You just kind of got initial offer that sold a few people then tailed off and now you've got nothing. And you're like, what do I do now? Um, so, yeah, if you want to talk about it in more detail, send me a message, Stephanie. I'm more than happy to have a chat with you about it. Uh, I've got a little bit of time this afternoon, although I'm going out now. Um, but, yeah, I've been talking. I've planned to do a short video here. I've been talking for 40 minutes. Um, we've maybe gone off track slightly, but I think it was quite an uh, interesting discussion. This quite enjoyed it. Uh, so I hope it was useful for you guys. If you want to go back, and uh, go back to the three ways again. 
Uh, by all means, go back to the start and watch the video from there. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you all again very soon. Oops.